Israeli settlements in northern occupied Palestine are on fire, facing continuous rocket barrages from the Islamic resistance in Lebanon. Ever since October 8, Israel has been locked in an extensive war of attrition with Hezbollah, marked by frequent exchanges of missiles, armed drones, and rocket fire, requiring constant and robust military manpower and resources. Some fear that by the looks of it, the fire exchange, or what the Lebanese Islamic resistance calls a support front, could escalate into a full-blown war or even a regional war, prompting calls for de-escalation from the US and Israel's allies. But really, the ball has been in their court since last October and could have been resolved promptly if the intentions of Israel's allies were sincere. The Lebanese resistance has made it clear that the support front would only halt its actions after the implementation of a ceasefire in Gaza. Since then, as per Newsweek, tens of thousands of Israelis, 200,000 to be specific, have been displaced from the settlements in northern occupied Palestine. According to a recent survey, 40% of them are contemplating never returning, even after the war ends. Northern occupied Palestine is not a war zone, it's not even a ghost town, it's a no man's land. On the other hand, the Israeli government is still claiming tactical achievements against the Islamic resistance in Lebanon. But the reality on the ground begs to differ, as the resistance's attacks have shown increasingly sophisticated and technologically advanced drones and precision-guided munitions being deployed in battle. Speaking of which, Mayrav Zon Zain, a senior Israeli analyst with the International Crisis Group, argued in an opinion piece published by the New York Times that the Northern Front has served as a laboratory, allowing the Islamic resistance in Lebanon to meticulously analyze Israel's security and surveillance mechanisms, testing the waters. In this case, identifying Israel's weak spot to penetrate and overwhelm its defenses through varied, multi-pronged attacks. In effect, Lebanon's resistance has implemented its own buffer zone in the northern settlements. How the tables have turned.